Okay, folks, welcome to the SMB Capital Options Training Program Trade of the Week. We are going to be presenting the conclusion of the bearish butterfly campaign story for the May 2011 expiration. Uh, I'd like to uh, just review for everyone where we ended last time. As, as, as I've told you, the SMB Options Trade of the Week is oftentimes going to be a continuing story of a trade as it unfolds either into a profit or a loss and uh, that uh, is what we are doing today so let's go ahead and review sort of where we are on this trade and what I'd like to do is move to uh, April 12th move backwards in time to April 12th 2011 and this was the beginning day of our milking process of this trade we actually started to milk it the milking phase of this trade is where we surround the market price with a, three butterflies 30 points apart on the Russell 2000 one at 790 one at 820 and one at 850 and what we're going to do in this case is we are going to um, every day of the week as I mentioned last time we're going to at around 3 o'clock 330 look at where the trade is figure out what was the highest attained profit on the trade as of the at any point during that day and make sure that if the market has a two standard deviation gap the next morning that we would not be giving up more than 25 percent of the profit that we have made on the trade we're now in what we we would call the profit preservation mode on this trade we really feel that we should definitely make money on this trade at this point it's just a matter of how much um, so that is the day we started milking it and actually the, at the time of the day we started to milk this we were up about twenty three hundred dollars so this is a good example of milking um, and uh, a trade because we are uh, in some cases the market makes a hard move and we end up giving that up that twenty five percent of the profit but in the ideal cases um, the market just sort of keeps cooperating with us, doesn't give us a two standard deviation move, and every day we start making more and more profit out of the trade. And this happened to be a good example of that happening. So we're going to move forward to April 15th, 2011. And on April 15th, 2011, um, we had already gotten up from the $2,300 number. We, were now, we are now up to $4,500 simply by milking and what we did on April 15th was the market had sort of moved and now we we had some pretty strong negative deltas or fairly strong negative deltas um, staring at us so what we did at uh, and I'm sorry actually uh, um, the time period we should be looking at is actually an hour before that where we had we were looking at this situation that's right this is where we had the much more serious negative deltas and so what we do in this case is we go in and we do a calculation which looks something like this we take the probability we take the um, the the at the money call market implied volatility which uh, happens to be 18.9 in this case and we go to the next day we project the next day and we look at the situation and we say suppose there's a big up move on the next day well if there's a big up move on the next day um, a two standard deviation move which would be here would bring us down to um, 3100 actually yeah around three thousand dollars well that would be giving up more than 75 percent of our capital now volatility would probably come down not not our capital our profit volatility would come down so the number probably wouldn't be that severe but it still would be severe enough that we would lose more than 25 percent of our profit with a big gap the next day so um, what we are going to do is as follows we are going to modify the trade and the move we're going to make we made at around 330 and what we did was we sold off three of the downside butterflies and we actually went in and sold off one of the upside butterflies too which we needed to do in order to balance the trade properly and so what we ended up with is this situation so now if we go back in and we look at the one standard deviation move the next day you can see now with a a, a two standard deviation move up the next morning 
uh, we would have been at about $4,000 in profit. Uh, we would have given up about $500, which is not 75%. An upside move actually would have helped us, although with changes in volatility, probably would have ended up around the same as the downside move. So that's a little bit of a more complex subject. But having said that, we did what we needed to do. We sold off two of the 790s. You can see the 790 is now kind of uh, lower. Um, and uh, we actually took off one of the 850s as well. And so we have we don't have the same number of butterflies in each position, but we've greatly improved our delta situation. So that is what we did on April 15th. Now let's move forward to April 18th. And April 18th um, was an interesting situation to look at because it was 3.30 and we're now up $5,400. Again, simply through the passage of the time, we had a weekend, we picked up some theta over the weekend. And the market was basically um, being nice and cooperative because we were negative deltas and the market actually sold off. So that was helpful. And we're now up $5,300. And so this day, we went through the same analysis. And I won't, I won't go through it again, but you, I think you understand the process now. We went through the same analysis and we found out that a move in either direction, two standard, de move, de standard deviation move in either direction, would not cause uh, the loss. Um, right now we're at 5,400 bucks and therefore a, a, a loss of more than 25 percent would bring us down to four thousand and fifty dollars and um, you can see, well we can do it very quickly here, it won't take long. Um, the at the money call is 18.6 so we'll go in and we will change the volatility on our option software to 18.6 and um, then we're going to um, show you the scenario. And the scenario is if the market were to sell off further uh, downward, we would not have anywhere near the $4,000 number that would cause us to exit the trade. Uh, and, and, and an upside move actually would be, would be very, very helpful. So uh, bottom line is um, we did not need to do anything on April 18th. And uh, that's a good thing. When you don't need to do anything, you want to leave these trades alone the less you fuss with them, the more you just let time pass and, um, and theta help us. Now, the next day is April 19th. April 19th, um, and I honestly cannot recall my thinking exactly, but uh, we had a, I'm not sure why I did this at 12 in the afternoon. There was something, must have been something going on. Um, but uh, I made the decision that, um, uh, I wanted to make an adjustment at this point in the trade. We were up $5,600 now. A 25% move um, would have dropped us down to $4,200. Um, and I was looking at the whole situation. I can't quite recall exactly what my thought processes were, but I decided uh, that I wanted to do some more trimming back to keep locking in more and more of the profits. So what I did on this day was um, you know, this is our position. We've got the, the 790s. The biggest position we have is the 820s, and we have a, a slightly smaller position at the 850 level. I decided to go ahead and sell off the remaining 790s and actually sell off a couple of these 850s as well. And as a result of that, uh, we ended up with um, the following situation. Uh, at 1 p.m., um, we were now basically completely flat deltas. The trade's actually up now 5,900 bucks. So this is a very, very successful mil melting, milking process. Um, and now, just to give you a feel for it, you know, this is where the trade is. And if we go in and we look at the at the money call volatility, which is 17.9, and we look at a one standard deviation move from this point uh, forward, um, then you'll see that um, in a two standard deviation move, we'd only give up about 500 bucks. You know, we're already up $5,900. Uh, and we'd give up, you know, about the same level there. And a 7,500, 75% move against $5,900 uh, would drop you down to 4425. We're not even near that. So here we are, neutral deltas, theta 66 bucks. Uh, we're up $5,900. Life is good. And this just this one just happened to work out really, really well. But you know, you don't know. We really did 
uh, not know what was going to happen when we recorded our last video. This one happened to work out nicely. So um, uh, now on April 20th, uh, we finally exited the trade. Um, and um, we can take a look at the report here. And the final gain on the trade was $5,000. So we gave up some profit uh, on that day. There was a big up move on April 20th. And that was enough to knock us out of the trade and knock us back down to $5,000 gain. Now, this trade had a planned capital initially of $25,000 and change. And we closed the trade for $5,019. So it was a little bit under a 20%, close to a 19% a, a uh, trade, um, a 19% gain on this trade. And this is one of the best parts. We're out of this thing, and there's still 30 days to go, uh, you know, before expiration. So we are, you know, we're not exposed to what's going to happen uh, in the market from here on out as of Wednesday. We've locked in our gain for our May trade for the 55-day uh, Russell 2000 bearish butterfly. So that's that's a good thing. And and the purpose, what I'm trying to drive home here in this video is, once you get up some money you can organize your trades so you can actually start to milk them and in this case we ended up going from a little bit less than a 10 percent gain to a 19 percent gain just by being patient staying in the trade and trimming it back uh trimming it back at the end of every day uh knocking off a butterfly here selling a call here um but we were always reducing capital um yes we were cutting theta in the process but we were also cutting Delta substantially and putting ourselves in a position to continue to take advantage of being in the market with time decay working for us. So that was a, a good example of the bearish butterfly. It sort of, I guess, would be a textbook case, but we got, you know, we were sort of lucky this month, but that's great that we got a textbook case. Number one, we got up about 10% because we had the pullback that occurred in mid April. Number two, we put it into a milking position. And we were able to milk it for, I don't know what it was, eight or seven or eight days. And during that milking period, we basically doubled our profits. Um, and we're in very comfortable position at every point during that period of time. So that's a good thing. Uh, so I'd like to, um, at this point, wrap up. I'd like to thank you for all of your attention. Uh, my name is Seth Freudberg. Uh, I'm the director of the SMB Options Training Program. Uh, if you'd like to ask me any questions about this trade or anything else involving your options trading, uh, you can email me at sfreudberg at smbcap.com. My Twitter handle is sethf at smb. Or you can comment uh, on this video, which is posted in our blog, at our blog location, smbtraining.com slash blog. So again, folks, thanks for your attention. Good luck on your options trading, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.